So first I wanted to talk about I wanted to talk about the Las Vegas Raiders. Now the Las Vegas Raiders are obviously Cody and I's team, and it's kind of funny that I'm wearing a Peyton Manning jersey or shirt uh, that is is about the Broncos. But I love Peyton Manning, and you know, if you um, if you didn't if you don't listen to the show, now you know why I'm wearing it. But anyway, all I have to say is this: Fire Josh McDaniels. I cannot handle another year with Josh McDaniels. Um, Josh McDaniels is showing that he is probably the worst, at least one of the worst coaches in the NFL this year, and maybe of all time. Um, He's been awful. He has been awful. Um, There was a play, there was a time I was telling Cody where we should have gone for a field goal when we were down 24 to 17. We went for it on a fourth down. And it was when we still had a lot of time left. And I said, kick the field goal. And Cody was like, well, I think what he's trying to do. And I go, no, no, no. You kick the field goal here. Yes, you're down by four. So a field goal doesn't win it. But if you end up having to get a field goal again, you still would have time and still have timeouts where you could still get the ball back. And then all you have to do is go for a field goal instead of having to go for these touchdowns every time. So that was strike number one in that game. (laughs) Strike number two was to throw it on first and goal with a rookie quarterback when Josh Jacobs, who we just signed, and he was finally having a great game, we decided to not use him and throw the football. There was strike two. Strike three for me is Josh McDaniels not holding himself accountable. How do you go into a game, you say, instead of Brian Hoyer, we're going to start Aiden O'Connell, which kind of felt like now, it's like, well, maybe he just started Aiden O'Connell because he wanted to prove like Raider Nation wrong that we that we were all calling for him. But you decided to start Aiden O'Connell. Nonetheless, that was your decision. It was not ours. You always say you don't care what we think. You guys are just going to run the course. And then proceed to... He wasn't active at all for any of the other games except for this game. You activate him. He starts. Did okay. Wasn't fantastic. Um, I don't know if how much better Jimmy Garoppolo would have been. But I think he would have got the ball out a little quicker. Um, but overall, really didn't add much to it. Um, but he's a rookie. This was his very first game in an NFL starting. And... Um, you proceed to blame him. Wild. I, I mean, strange behavior. I don't understand it. It makes zero sense. And you don't even have the balls to say, I made some mistakes. You know, should have done this, should have done that. You know, I felt like Aiden did, you know, he 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 did what we needed him to do. Of course, made some bad reads. We're going to have to go in the film, you know. No. Proceeded to blame Aiden O'Connell for the loss. And I know there are some people out there who are going, well, okay. Is he wrong? Yes, he's wrong. First of all, the defense gave up some big time plays when we needed to. So you can blame the defense. Um, You could blame... Josh McDaniels for some play calls. You could look at some penalties that wasn't on Aiden O'Connell. And for you to say that you're the leader of the team, you're the head coach of the team, you can't even hold yourself liable? I don't know. I I, I don't get it. Andy Reid goes on the podium, and he'll say after a loss, yeah, you know, I... I missed this. I missed this play call. I I was trying to get this going, and it just obviously didn't work. 
you know, uh, we'll go back to the film, we'll, we'll correct it, and we'll get better. I see even Bill Belichick. Yeah, we just weren't that good today. Um, you know, uh, we're going to have to look at inward and, you know, make sure that we uh, get better this week. But, uh, yeah, we just we just didn't play well. Doesn't blame anyone, doesn't call anyone out. Never did that. That's Josh McDaniels. Can't blame Belichick. Can't say he does that. He never even blamed Brady half the time. He never did that. And if he did, he blamed other people too. So all I'm saying is you need to be holding yourself accountable if you want people to respect you. If you want to hold other people accountable, you also have to hold yourself accountable. And if you don't do that, you are going to lose the locker room. And to me, in that game, you lost the locker room. So, here's something that I have an issue with, with Josh McDaniels as well. Josh McDaniels took a playoff team. A playoff team that didn't have Devontae Adams. Um, probably a worse defense. I think this defense has actually been pretty solid. Um, not great, but I think their tackling has been better other than this past game. They did, they were really bad, but um, I think overall you could look at that and go, yeah, I think their tackling has been better. Um, took a playoff team. Derek Carr, Josh Jacobs. Uh, we had Henry Ruggs at the time, of course. Nelson Aguilar. Zay Jones. And we were a playoff team. Darren Waller, Hunter Renfro. You know the guys. And in comes Josh McDaniels. Adds Devontae Adams. Got some defensive players that we kind of liked. And you, and you made them lose. You made them lose. What? And what is with the play calling that Apparently, Hunter Renfro doesn't exist anymore. I don't know why McDaniels hates Hunter Renfro. Um, Hunter Renfro was solid for us for the years he was playing with us. He was one of our... He was our go-to guy on third down. Um, and the reason I don't say it's on Carr or on Jimmy Garoppolo because we've had two years of this now where... well. Renfro was hurt most of the year last year, but when he did play, it was it was never thrown to him. And I was like, I don't know what, what's going on with Carr. But now Jimmy Garoppolo is doing the same thing. We never throw it to Renfro. And even Aidan Connell, I think he had one throw to, to Hunter. Um I don't know what's going on. I don't I don't get it. I don't get how you take a team who is a playoff team who had worse players, didn't have the best receiver in the NFL. And you can't win. I would say even the offensive line is better. The run, the, the run blocking has been worse, but the pass blocking has been a lot better this year. I don't get it. I don't get how you can't win games. Your only win is against the Denver Broncos, and it was by a point. I don't get it, man. I don't understand how you get a guy in Rich Bisaccia, a special teams coach, never smelled a head coaching job, never smelled offense, never smelled defense, was strictly special teams his entire career. Took Derek Carr, Darren Waller, Hunter Renfro, Josh Jacobs, Took him to the prom. Took him. Well, I wouldn't say promise land, but took him to the playoffs. Faced a Bengals team that was really, really good. Was tough to stop, and we were a touchdown away. It was a fourth and goal play, and Derek Carr had nowhere else to throw. Had to try and fit it into a spot, and unfortunately, was picked off. It was a fourth and goal. It was going to be a turnover on Downs if we didn't. If we didn't throw it. And you took that team. And they got it. He got them into the playoffs. Josh McDaniels literally took that same exact team. And made them lose. Only had six wins last year. 
And I'm not sure they can get that this year. I don't get it. And now Rich Eisen has been saying what he has heard is Josh McDaniels did not like Derek Carr, did not want Derek Carr. That's obviously why he got rid of him. And also, he didn't like Josh Jacobs. But I think it was going to piss off the fan base too much where he couldn't... He already traded Darren Waller at that point. He had to sign Josh Jacobs. The fans could not handle if we couldn't sign Josh Jacobs. I'm not even sure the organization could have handled them not signing Josh Jacobs. I think that was more Mark Davis saying, no, we got to keep this guy. So the only thing I can hope for with the with the Raiders now on is we're hoping for Caleb Williams. And that's sad. That's sad. I don't want to hope for another quarterback again. Um McDaniels has proven he's he's a terrible head coach. He's proven that. And I'm I'm Almost 100% sure. I would say 99% sure he has lost majority of that locker room. And when that happens, it's not good. Obviously, he's already lost a lot of the guys because they don't play well. A lot of guys aren't in their assigned spots. You could argue a lot of the guys don't want to get hurt. They're just hoping for next year. That's not good. That is not good. Fire Josh McDaniels.